Hey and welcome to my channel. My name is Kamil and I will show you the acceleration of my car Opel Ampera 2012. If you are interested in electric vehicles and especially if you want to know more about Opel Ampera don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be more content about this car and other electric cars soon. For those of you who don't know, Ampera is an electric vehicle that has a range extender. It means that once the battery is empty, the 1.4 petrol engine will provide the electricity to the electric engine. The test will consist of two parts. The first part will be the battery is empty, so the car will use the power generator to run the car. After that, we will fully charge the car and once again measure the acceleration. So with all that said, let's begin our test. Even though the car shows that the battery is empty, there is some of the energy left. As the petrol power generator has only power of 63 kilowatts, while power of the electric engine is 111 kilowatts. So almost half of the energy will be supplied from the battery when car runs at full capacity. As you can hear, when the generator is working at the full capacity, the sound is not the most pleasant, but after all, it's not that loud. Before we start the next part, let's charge the car. A few moments later. It took a few hours, but the battery is full now and we are ready to continue the test. Running on full EV mode is almost completely noiseless. The only sounds that you can hear is the wind and the tires. Let's compare the results now. They are pretty much the same. We can see that the acceleration near 200 is a bit better running on the generator, but the difference is not big and it might have been just a measurement error. The interesting thing is that nil to 30 and nil to 50 is very immediate. Basically, on the traffic lights, there are not so many conventional cars that can compete with Ampera. Nil to 80 is not that bad either, but 80 to 100 takes about 3 seconds and it's the place where conventional cars might have an advantage. Comparing those numbers to 9 seconds that new Ampera should do, I'm quite impressed that an 8 years old car with almost 300,000 km on the clock still does so well. It shows how durable Opel Ampera construction is. If you like this video and haven't done it already, please remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. It makes me so much more motivated to do videos like this. If you have any questions or would like to see another video about Opel Ampera, please leave your suggestions in comment section below. So thanks for watching and see you soon.